salesman. I have the measure of him through my kinetic artist's eye. He is my sitter, my model, my subject. Gradually, I unpick his confidence, smirking at his body shifts and involuntary ticks. I have the length of him, preferably an arm's distance. His viewfinder stare invites me to lock into his spiel. His campaign trousers squeak as cheap cotton caresses leather, and his tie, never properly oriented, contemplates garroting its keeper. I have his depth, shallow in guile and perspicacity, by any measure of morality, bottomless. The playbook performance, over-rehearsed to incredulity, promises blissful satisfaction for a modest outlay if I just sign above the dotted line. Warm, vitreous mists his eyes as I withhold engagement. His voice falters as mucus decamps to his lungs. His feet drum futilely on the acoustic rug and he squirms as if an unseen hand is poised to strike. The whole unseemly performance slowly unravels. I have sized him up and he falls well short of specification. But there is no satisfaction in the metric. I shake his clammy hand and thank him for his trouble, but he appears to have lost all interest in me, his thoughts having refocused on his next appointment.